Okay, guys, welcome back to NQIS. Uh, this is a continuation of the Cyclops models, uh, the Cyclops goggles modification series. Um, this particular video set will be installing the three-way video switch that we are going to use to control what we see in the goggles. Now, usually in the goggles, we see the signal coming from the VRX, the video receiver, that sends the signal directly to the screen once we have chosen what frequency we want to look at. Now, on the harness that goes between the VRX and the screen, it's a four-wire harness, and I've drawn the blue arrow to the bottom of it. That should be red, that wire, at the, at the top of the harness when it plugs in. Um, it's drawn on the bottom here because that's just the way I've drawn it for ease with the wiring. So that bottom wire there, that would be red. So we want to go to the opposite side of the harness. And the first black wire is what we sever. And we send the side that comes from the VRX into N1. And out of the out pin on the video switch, we connect that back to the wire that's going to the screen. So that first black cable gets cut and goes, one side of it goes to the N1, the other side goes to out. So that's pretty simple to do, no probs. The next section of it is picking up the DVR. Now the DVR, last time we only used the video in wire and that was yellow and we connected that yellow wire to the back of our VRX and we saw this video signal. We've connected that wire there to the back of this uh, plug actually on the VRX itself uh, directly to it and when we press record on the VBR we are getting the signal recorded onto the little SD chip. Now, what we want to do is we want to actually play back the DVR so that when we go back into playback mode that we use the little three buttons on the DVR with, go back to playback mode, we want to be able to see that playback mode in the screen. So we're going to take the blue cable, on mine it's blue, which is the video out cable, into N2, that when we switch the Adreno, N2 will now be going out the out signal and to the screen of the goggles. And then to go even further, we're going to pick up the 3.5 jack, TRS jack, TSR jack, one of those, out of there and into N3. So that when we press the button for a second time on the Arduino, on our micro switch, which will be located on the bottom of our goggles, it will send the signal to the screen. Okay, so N1 is VRX, N2 is the DVR, N3 is the video in. Okay, so video in could be a movie, it could be another um, VRX, and you might have one on a pole or a stand, something like that, and that signal can come in as well via the side jacks that we're installing. Okay guys, so let's just get to the first part of it, and that's wiring in the video switch itself. Um, I've already pre-wired a red wire for the N3, which is the video in, and I've pre-wired a white wire for the DVR, which is on N2, and I have soldered you can see where I have soldered and cut the wire for the screen. So I'll just quickly show that vid and we'll go from there. Okay guys, well what I've done is I've removed the four wire cable which is three signal, well two signal I believe and power between the VRX and the screen. So if you just lift your screen out, 
Okay, just lift your spring out of the little slider, pull out the cable because you want to work with the cable with it out, and I'm just now going to solder that to the video switch. Okay, so let's get on with that. Okay, so that just shows you there how I've taken in the video in signal. That is the top wire as it goes in, or as top wire because you've got it upside down. All right, so the top wire that goes into the plug, top black one, first black one, goes with the first black one on this side of the video. Card here underneath. This is what we took our DVR capture cat wire off, which is that one there. All right, so you can see how I've done that. I've sold it into N1. You can see through the clear heat shrink there. Sold into N1. DVR is on N2. Sold it in there. And then on the other side of this, we'll just turn it around so you can see it. We've got the cable going to the screen that we've cut into, so it goes off onto the screen, is in the out, being soldered to the out signal terminal, and then this one here is N3, and N3 is going off, hasn't been soldered to anything yet, but it's going to be going to the other side of the jack. So we've got a plug on the jack now, uh, we'll just bring that in a shot, so we've got the jack inside there and because it is on the other half of the shell okay we'll put a little servo plug on it and we'll do the same thing on this other side and that will be supplying the video on the yellow the audio on the red and of course ground on the black okay and that's going into a uh, three and a half inch jack which is on there. See if I can just get that on shot. Okay, so that's what we'll Alright, so I've just tucked it all away in here now. I've put a little bit of um, double sided foam tape on the back of the clear heat shrink that I've put over it. So that heat shrink has had to just keep the wires in place. So let's get that up a bit closer there, Floyers. How we've got it stuck on the back of the screen. Okay, so it's nice and neat. I'll just pull back the focus a bit. Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me. I've got it tucked on there. Make sure that you get all your cables right for the post as the other side of the post on the other side of the case shell comes down. You see that I've left the pins on for the um, PWM signal and power to the card. Now I've done that in case I want to remove the um, case I want to remove the Adreno. I can just pull that off and pull the Adreno out and leave the card in place if I wanted to. Okay, so that's just a quick close up of how I've got it sitting on the back. Well, okay, guys, we're going to leave it there for now. Um, I'll be back on the next video and we'll hook up the DVR and we'll start hooking up the sound to the, uh, the video in and out jacks as well and getting all that side of it prepped and soldered up. Okay, so until the next one, hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber and um, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and of course if you don't like what you see, give me a thumbs down and I'll be seeing you on the next one. Oh, and by the way, I'm doing a video on these, they're fantastic. For an old man like me, I can really start to see what I'm doing. Okay, guys, see you later.